Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday, and as always, be sure to like and provide comments. In the never-ending cat-and-mouse game between cybersecurity experts and cyber criminals, what keeps the Dark Web Deacon up at night is quantum computing, which is potentially capable of cracking even the most advanced conventional encryption. If you want a crash course on what is quantum computing, check out my previous video on the subject in the link above. Much like the race to develop nuclear weapons in the late 30s and early 40s, which changed the course of history and decided whose ideas and philosophies would dominate the world, the development of a large-scale and stable quantum computing system that can be used as a weapon to hack into corporations, governments, and military systems of major world powers is of real concern. Once a quantum hack is successful by a threat actor, they can steal stockpiles of sensitive information, install viruses, or disrupt or purge the data from key systems. The tech will undoubtedly be used to change the world and not necessarily for the better. While the mega breaches that are common today from SolarWinds, OPM, and Marriott hotel breaches over the last few years have impacted millions of people, society has continued unabated for the most part. These modern day cyber attacks are tactical attacks and self-contained. They are analogous to conventional warfare prior to the invention of nuclear weapons, which once invented signal that an entire country could fall in a matter of hours due to technology rather than bloody human battles that could last for weeks or years. Once quantum computers become operational, they will have the same power, and any modern country, which of course cannot exist without its IT infrastructure and databases, these key components that sustain modern life could fall in a matter of hours or days in the event of a massive and coordinated attack against its IT systems and data. The modern information age replaced industrial equipment with data. Today, data isn't just information, it's processes and interactions. Corporate and government secrets are encrypted in databases. Software commands robots to build things in factories. Sensors in fields trigger water when crops are too dry. We're even developing smart cars and smart cities that are all connected to the Internet of Things. But with this progress comes a downside. The opportunity for nation-state hackers to beat even our best security systems and not just steal everything from source code to top secret blueprints, but to have the ability to disrupt, damage, and destroy things in the physical world. But are we not using the most advanced encryption, so what do we have to worry about? Yes, encryption protects everything from classified data to the operations of power plants, water supplies, and financial trading systems. However, once quantum computers are available, not only will the most critical data be able to be exposed and decrypted, but quantum-powered attacks will be able to interfere with important cyber control processes in every part of the economy. The US and China are in a heated race to develop quantum computing which will revolutionize the industry, particularly in the fields of artificial intelligence, medicine, scientific modeling, and warfare. So what is the current state of this new 21st century arms race? Well, China is building a $10 billion quantum research lab. A number of universities are doing important research and development on quantum computing, including MIT, Harvard, the University of Chicago, the University of Waterloo in Canada, and the University of Cambridge in England. NIST is working on post-quantum cryptography designed to protect against quantum computer attacks. In addition, large corporations such as IBM and Google are heavily invested in the space. And the Department of Energy is doing research at Oak Ridge National Laboratory on the use of quantum computing to protect the electrical grid which is potentially one of the biggest risks we face in a post-quantum world. Given what is at stake, we need politicians, scientists, and the media to stop with the constant tribalization issues, since the tribe of the US and Western civilization may not survive if we do not make this research a priority. We do not have time to spare here. 
This type of weaponized technology is 5 to 20 years away, depending on who you ask. But they all agree that the quantum clock is ticking. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.